Okay, uh, we're going to talk about white balance in Lightroom 3. White balance is the color temperature of your image. Now, um, there's a couple different ways we can go about changing our white balance uh, on an image. And I'm shooting, I, mean, I shot, these are raw files that I shot, but you can do this with JPEGs also inside of Lightroom, so don't think that you have to shoot raw in order to do this. The first thing we can do is he here's our white balance area. Our temperature, cool to warm, and our tint, green to magenta. The first way you can go about this is to click right here where it's going to say as shot. And we might choose auto, so it's a lot warmer there. Daylight, which is pretty close to what we had shot as. Cloudy. Shade. Um, I think that's all we would try. Okay, so let's say we get close to it with shade. We get close to it. We, oh, it's a little warm. Not exactly what I was looking for. We can take our temperature and tint sliders and, man, and manipulate them some. So I'm going to take the temp because it's a little warm. So I'm going to take this temp slider and move it a little bit to the left towards the blue. And it's going to cool that picture up some. And I also think it's got a touch too much magenta in it, just a, just a touch. So I'm just going to click on this and move slightly to the left. And we can see our before and after right here it's showing us we're in, we're in the main one. And we can click right here and see side by side. So see how much cooler this is? There's more blue in his face and skin than right here. So this is a little better than, than this one. Okay. Another thing we can do is click on this eyedropper or hit W on your keyboard. And then we could click somewhere, usually in the whites of the eyes or the teeth, or something that should be gray, should be neutral. So I'm going to do the whites of his eyes and just click. I'm going to hit, it's too, I didn't like that, so I hit W again. Let's try over here. I can try right here. You just keep clicking. It's not you're not set in stone. So you can get close to something you like and then manipulate it like we did with the other one. I'm just keeping to hit continuing to hit W. Okay. So I'm just gonna manipulate it some here. So see how we have this bluish grayish coloring to his face and now it's much healthier looking. Okay, so we found a white balance that looks good for this image. I'm also going to bump up the blacks a little bit just while we're here. Pull down the clarity. We'll talk about this later. And so let's say I want, um, I had the same setting for a bunch of images and I want to sync that white balance. So I've got this one. I can hold down my shift key and click all of them or I can just click on this one and then hold down my control key and click on the ones I want to sync with okay and then I'm going to choose sync and you may only want white balance if it if it's like this and you don't want all of that, you just want the white balance, just check none, hit check none, and then click on white balance and do synchronize. Now, I'm going to come over here and let's look at before and after. So look at her skin here. Bluish purple, isn't it? And this is much better in her skin. Much healthier. So this white balance uh, fix we did for my son worked really well for this image also. Okay, um, we can look at this one. It's very similar. Oh, stuck here. If we wanted to, we can apply it to this one also. So I'm going to click on this first one. Hold down my control key. And let's click on this one and hit sync. Just the white balance. If it 
sync it. So it went backwards there. <laughs> um, so it's a really easy way to um, quickly. I'm going to do this. Change the white balance of several of your photos at once, and it just saves you time, and um, it's very easy easy to do.